Let's study the short run equilibrium and the long run equilibrium for our dynamic aggregated demand and aggregated supply model, or the ADAS model. First, let's review what's on the axis. Uh, on the horizontal axis, we have the real output. On the vertical axis, we have inflation rate. So again, it's about the price and the output quantity. Of course, because when we're talking about the inflation, what we have is the change in price over time. That's why we say we're talking about the dynamic aggregated demand. Now let's uh, review our curves in this picture. Uh, this blue curve is the so-called long-run aggregated supply curve. It tells us it doesn't matter what the inflation level is, in the long run the output level will always be at the potential level of output. Next, let's look at this uh, red curve here, the short run aggregate supply curve. It tells us as the inflation going up, the producers will supply more quantity of aggregate output. Why do they want to do that? That is because as the inflation rate going up, they can increase their output price even faster. Remember, the input price, uh, price for labor, raw material, and uh, capital, the, the input price uh, adjusts slowly. So. Uh, when they can charge a higher and a higher price, but they don't pay a higher and a higher cost, uh, they would like to produce more and more to uh, earn higher profit. Finally, let's review our aggregate demand curve. It says as the inflation rate going up, the quantity demanded on aggregate output will going down. Uh, that is because Higher inflation rate uh, will induce the monetary policymaker increase the real interest rate. As the real interest rate going up, the quantity demanded on aggregate output will goes down. So higher inflation rate, uh, lower quantity demanded on real output. Now let's uh, consider the two different equilibria in the model. Uh, the equilibrium in the supply and the demand diagram occur at where the supply meets the demand. Now for the long run equilibrium, that's where the aggregated demand meets the long run aggregated supply. That is this pink dot here. For the short run equilibrium, it is where this aggregate demand curve meets the short run aggregate supply. That is this uh, orange dot here. What we will see next is that over time, the economy has this self-adjusting mechanism that can uh, get itself back uh, to the long run equilibrium. That is, what we will see is this uh, orange dot will go back to this uh, pink dot. Uh, that is the adjustment from this aggregate, short run aggregate supply curve. It will uh, move up from its current position over to this point. So eventually the uh, orange dot will overlap with this uh, pink dot. Let's look at uh, a recessionary gap example here first. In this example, what we see is uh, the short-run equilibrium give us a relatively higher inflation rate than the long-run equilibrium here, and the output level is lower than the potential level of output. When the current output level or the short-run output level is lower than the long-run uh, potential level of output, we have a so-called recessionary gap. In a recessionary gap, uh, what is there in the economy is excess capacity. That means uh, the, 
There are a lot of people want to have a job, and a lot of office spaces may be、uh, empty. So it's very easy for a firm to find people to hire, find office space to rent, or even find、uh, factory space or machines to rent at a very good price, low price. And when that's going on. Remember, the inflation rate is still positive, and it's relatively high inflation rate. So the firms、uh, charge a high price, but they pay very low, a、uh, slow increasing input price. And what they can do is, if they、uh, lower the inflation rate a little bit, then now you can see they can sell more in the short run. The、uh, output level can be higher. But still, they are charging higher and higher prices because the inflation rate is positive, right? And、uh, remember, the economy still has this excess capacity because the output level, even at this level, is still、uh, lower than the potential level of output. So over time, the producers will lower the inflation rate. Even lower, and、uh, then the short-run equilibrium adjusts to this long-run equilibrium level. What we are looking at here now is the economy going back to its potential level of output. In this long-run equilibrium,、uh, the inflation rate now is lower, but there is no excess capacity in the economy. That means the economy is at its natural level of unemployment rate. It's a normal unemployment rate when people are switching between jobs.